Hey everyone, so it's Monday morning and I wanted to make this quick call um, just to talk about uh, basically I hear a lot of people say to me, you know, I don't think I could be where you are with the success of this business. And so um, when I hear that, the first thing I think of is that's so me um, because that's actually how I had my mindset for the first two years that I did this business. I sort of looked at everyone else um, that, you know, was doing this business and I thought, well, I can't be where they are. You know, they're so far ahead of me or they're so far, um, you know, you know, I'd love to be that, but I don't want to, I don't know what to do or I don't want to put in the work that I need to do in order to get to where they are. So that's kind of like one thing I've been hearing lately is I don't think I could be successful like you, which is such bull crap because anyone could do this business. It's just a matter of deciding if you want to do this business. And I completely understand where most people are coming from because I was in their shoes. Um, I let that excuse for two years kind of hold me back and sort of, you know, I didn't, I didn't have enough friends on Facebook. I didn't have enough time. I didn't um, like to post on social media. Um, all of those excuses um, sort of held me back for the first two years until I got to a point where I watched these people skyrocket their business in a year. Uh, and I regretted not doing it because um, I, I wanted to pay off my student loans. I wanted to stay home with my kids. I wanted to not work 60 hours a week. I wanted to have money to go on vacation. I wanted to be happy and healthy like these people, um, but it was me holding myself back from these excuses. So uh, I really think it's more of a mindset uh, that, and you have to realize that if you look at somebody and they're like a six star diamond or a five star or a two star or whatever, it's not that that person just got there. Um, it's more of like every single day, they did the little things that they needed to do in order to get to where they wanted to be. And it's like that escalator thing that we always talk about. You know, you get halfway going in this business and you're on that escalator and then one little thing, you know, sets you off. Like, I'll give you an example in my life. Like, I'm having a baby. I'm moving. Um, I'm selling my house. Uh, my husband works really long hours. The kids are getting out of school this week. Like, all of these things that are going on in my life, like, I have a choice. Do I let these things sort of side track me from where I want to be in this business, you know, just doing the little things every single day, like an hour a day, or do I just give up and sort of let it all, you know, easily put it in the back of my brain. You need to be like fueling the fire every single day and simply just doing the to-do list that you want to move your business forward. And it's honestly not rocket science what I do at all. Um, for starters, I will just quickly go over this because people ask me all the time, what is it that I do? Um, I have this 21 day fix extreme list. It's basically 14 tasks. Um, I wake up, I do my personal development. Personal development is so important in this business. It keeps you um, on track. This weekend I didn't do anything and I woke up like, well, I don't really need to do anything, but I read personal development and I got my fire going. Proof of the product, pick a program and stick with it. Do the 21 day fix. It's super simple. You're doing it for three weeks. You're going to be a product of the product. You're going to want to talk about it more if you're doing it. Um, post on social media. Start a like page. Um, you know, uh, post once or twice uh, a week about your journey. It doesn't have to be something super crazy. Just get more active on social media. Share your life, all the stuff that you're doing in your, biz in your busy, you know, summer. People follow that. They like that. Be positive. Do not be negative. Um, send out friend requests to new people. It's not we. I used to think it was weird to send out friend requests to people, but it's not weird. People want this in their life. Like you're doing other people a disservice by not sharing this journey with other people. And half the people on my team, probably ninety percent of the people on my team, and all my new coaches this past year, I met through doing sending new friend requests to people. So if some people say no, some people say yes, but some people are, have lost 10 to 15 pounds. They're now becoming a coach. They never knew that this was in there, was even an option for them. And so by you not sending out friend requests, I always think um, this isn't like awkward. This is 
something that I'm giving to somebody else because if somebody didn't invite me, then I would never know about this. So you have to really set, change your mindset um, about that. You know, accept when people accept your friend request, then you want to message them. Um, and it tells you exactly what you want to say to the person. If somebody likes your uh, post from the day before about maybe your challenge group or your, just your workout or that you're struggling or whatever it is, um, then you can message them about asking to join your next challenge group. That's considered an invite. Um, you know, inviting people to your next challenge group. So we give you lots of different options on ways that you can invite people to your challenge groups. Um, interest groups, just messaging people, wishing them a happy birthday, sending them a private message. And again, if you're a new coach or you've been doing this for you know a year, but maybe you haven't been doing a to-do list, you have to understand that if you friend somebody today, they're not going to join your challenge group next month. I mean, I always assume what I do now, right now, June, July, August, is going to set me up for success in the fall. So whoever's really pushing hard and working right now, you're going to benefit in the fall. You're going to see all that compounded effect of inviting and building relationships and people realizing that you're really in this journey and you want to help people because they're watching. And that's going to set you up for massive, massive, massive explosion of success in the fall. So again, um, just kind of put your excuses aside. Work on this to-do list every single day. Read personal development like the slight edge or the compound effect or Get on our team calls. That's really going to build your fire, and it's really going to help you realize that this is such an amazing opportunity that's literally at your fingertips, but there's so many little excuses that people hold themselves back from actually doing it, and you can be successful with this. You can see amazing financial growth. You can see personal growth. It can ripple effect into other, other things in your life, but you have to put away the excuses that, you know, you you. You don't want to do these little things because of X, Y, and Z. You should do these things because you don't have time. This creates way more time in your life. Um, financially, um, you know, money is just a vehicle that can afford you choices. Honestly, if you are stressed out, if you want more time in your life, you know, financially, that can give you more time. It can give you more less stress. But you have to put in the work in order to get that. So, bye, guys.